Okay, this, this is going to be a demonstration of the uh, motor controller and battery combination and uh, the meter you see there in front of you. I'm going over here to the on off switch. I will turn it on. You'll see the lights come on the battery. The battery says 52.4 at this time. Uh, you can see the little green light on on the controller. And if I twist the throttle, it moves forward. And the battery's hooked up. And you see the throttle over here. It's a domino throttle, which is a really good throttle. And if you can see in the gears, there's the main shaft. It's KTM gears and the gear reduction and the main shaft out of the KTM. And the sprockets off the KTM. So that is the complete system with all the motor, controller, wiring, all the wiring cables needed necessary. The one yellow wire right here is would normally go to a master on off switch on the gas tank. Uh, we don't have a gas tank involved in this, so I left it out. You just put a switch in there. And then you have the two batteries and there is a fuse. You can see uh, right there on the, uh, going through the, right, where the main power goes right through it. And you have two uh, 48 volt, 100 amp. Actually, they probably put out about 200 amps possible each. So you could have up to 400 amps. I think the motor only takes, uh, it's 200 amp motor. Uh, it'll take about 300 amps and I think the controller gets close to that. So 300 amps at 40, 50 volts is about 15 kilowatts. Say 12 kilowatts is a good fair number. That's, you know, a good 15, 17 horse.